So you've got a copper pipe with running water and you know that you cannot solder a connection here. The pipe will never come up to soldering temperature because the water is acting as a coolant. So how do you solder this? Well, here's a trick that should work all the time. I have here a Foley catheter. This is what's used by urologists for draining urine from the bladder when there's an obstruction. This is a silicone Foley. It comes in two types, latex and silicone. Latex has a melting temperature somewhere near, I believe, 200 or so degrees Fahrenheit, which is not acceptable. Silicone has a uh, degradation temperature that's closer to 420 degrees, which is close. Soldering temperature is basically somewhere around 410 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can do one of two things. You take your silicone Foley and you wrap it in Teflon tape several turns. That has a um, decomposition temperature that starts uh, somewhere between 500 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Or for extra security, you can take Teflon tubing. And that would go over your silicone Foley as such. There wouldn't be any Teflon tape on this, just the, uh, the Foley. And this will then blow up, and there's a balloon here, which I'm gonna show you, which will go inside the copper pipe. You will take, notice how far this goes, and it's very, very flexible, so it can go around any turn. The balloon will go up and form an obstruction to flow here. You're gonna put a cooling towel on here because you do not want the balloon to get warm because it's very thin and pop, or worse yet, some of the material to bond to the copper pipe. So a, a cooling blanket with water uh, will serve it well. The other thing is you wanna make sure you de-air the balloon here. So when you fill it with water, you make sure that there's no air in the balloon because air expands from heat and that could also pop your balloon. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna take my syringe, which is filled with water, and I'm going to make sure that there's no air in the balloon. So I'm gonna raise the balloon. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little air bubble in there right at the top. I'm gonna to hold upside down. Suck that air out. Now it's pretty, pretty good. This will take about 14 or so cc's. So I'm gonna put it in. I note the length. It's gonna go in here. I'm gonna fill it with the first 10 cc's. I'm gonna fill it with about another four to five cc's. And look at that, it stopped. Now I'm gonna put my cooling towel on. I don't want that balloon getting warm. And I'm going to heat this up until the solder melts to show we can achieve soldering temperature.
You can see the solder melts pretty easily. And I can drop my balloon. Let's just cool that down a bit. You can see this is in pretty good condition here. And I was able to melt the solder easily, which easily would solder any fitting or connection. I hope this hack proves useful to you. Again, make sure you've got cooling here because you don't want any of this material to get melted inside your pipe. But if you follow it this way, you should be good to go.